especially right now, I don't know that it's yes. ever been more evident that what we really traffic in in higher education, particularly in more select selective institutions, um, is that we traffic in faith, collective faith, right? Um, and in fact, the you know uh, colleges and universities, and certainly the professoriate, start as a vocation that was thought of as being similar to priest in the religious order, right? But we also like to think we've become too rational for that. We've gone through the Cold War university. We've done the post-World War II thing. We were nice and rationalized. We'd separated ourselves from all of that. Um, and one of the, the cri you don't realize you're a faith-based institution until there's a crisis of the faith. Yeah, right. So the think about like our overall theme today, when we talk about like the crisis moment, there is the actual crisis of the pandemic that is really just revealing a crisis of faith in social institutions um, brought about by the lack of economic mobility possible for people that the social institutions rely on. So what we sell to students is that we can transform your social and economic outcomes. We can divorce you, either divorce you from the circumstances of your birth or we can reproduce the circumstances of your birth depending on who you are and that we can do both really well. Well, that takes tons of faith on the part of the public to believe that that can be done. And we have for a long time justified that faith based on the economic returns to attending college. Well, by the 90s, this starts to break down, right? There is a pulling away of, uh, of people who have higher education, particularly graduate education, pulling away from the mean um, in the population, but there are fewer of those people, meaning it has become harder to become one of those people, get into school, to finish, to afford it, uh, to uh, earn enough returns to justify the student loan debt, right? All of that had transformed the actual measurable returns, the material returns to education, which I think led to a sort of public crisis of faith in higher education writ large. Um, uh, so uh, some colleagues at Indiana University have been tracking public faith in college or higher education um, by Democratic Party um, uh, doing a, a large scale survey for the last few years, um, Brian Powell and his colleagues there. And one of the things he shows uh, is how well um, how, how much this tracks to political polarization, tracks to the loss of faith in colleges and universities. Um, that to me is actually the real crisis. And we tried to solve that through privatization or financialization. Okay, so what the loss of public faith does is it undermines public investment. So public investment tracks to public faith. And as they decline, we fill in the gaps with privatization, public-private partnerships, investments, uh, portfolio management, et cetera, right? This is the business part. Um, as those things are inversely related, so financialization increases as public investment in faith declines, um, there are only so many tools available to us to respond to a crisis like COVID, right? Uh, because we need people to just trust that we're gonna do the right thing but we don't have the resources to do the right thing. And the incentives to do the right thing have been skewed for quite some time. That's what we're dealing with. That's what lower ed interjected. It interjected a set of politics, a set of economic relations that transformed the collective faith and investment in higher education. And that's not just true in for-profits. The for-profits are the extreme end of the spectrum. We have all been privatized, some from without, and some from within, <laughs> that's where we find ourselves. <laughs>